Go get some Toto and uh, why am I doing that intro? <laughs> but screw it, whatever. Okay, uh, I'm gonna be doing a video on Japan, but it's I'm gonna be showing you how to do the uh, Tour de France achievement. We're gonna be playing as Japan. I, I just just said I'm gonna repeat myself because I'm, I'm stupid and can't think of anything. <laughs> Alright, and I'm going to be doing it as quickly as I possibly can. So pretty much we're going to be trying to get... So in order to complete Tour de France, I had my friend check this. I'm not sure if it's correct or not. I already have the achievement, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So in order to complete the achievement, you need 20 bicycle divisions. And actually, I had a friend check. It's actually 24 bicycle uh, divisions in order to complete the achievement. But that doesn't really matter since we're going to have 24 anyway. So... I mean, it might be 20, but I didn't check it. I, I got to uh, 30. So we're, what we're going to do is we're not choosing a focus yet. Uh, if you want, like, we're going to be just choosing these. Cause... Actually, I got that wrong, but okay, don't do that. Don't do that. We'll, gra we'll be grabbing uh, Grand Battle Plan. Build mills. On, you, know, you only need mills, really. And for here, you'll want to put five on artillery, five on infantry equipment, Three on, uh, three in there. But then, you'll want some casts, so bounce that out. But you'll need support equipment later. But we'll be allocating mills to that afterwards. So protect that to the bottom, and we'll just put it there. So that it all goes to that. First thing we're going to do in order to actually complete it before even starting the game is we're going to join Germany's faction. They'll accept that in a second. Do. You. Doesn't really matter who you put on because I mean Japan is a bunch of really good uh, generals. So and then pop them into a field marshal. You don't need to divide these yet. Just don't, just don't do that. It makes it easier if they're on one thing. Start the game. So Germany accepts you. We're gonna set a naval invasion from Germany to France. Just send to those two tiles. Actually, maybe do I, a little minor change here. I usually go for Dunkirk because Dunkirk's a pretty easy tile to go for, but I think maybe Dieppe would be better. Huh? Here, here, here. Yeah. There we go. Larger front makes it easier. It's going to be 10 divisions. They're all going to move, and then we're going to on top of that, to a fallback line for the remaining divisions to go to the marsh there. The general's probably going to get sick doing that, but it should be fine. Gather up all your navy. Click him here, press, press G to unite them so they'll go there and unite. And then all your planes, just grab them all and bring them to Germany. Just pop them over and like, over the uh, lesser items. Okay, so naval, you won't, I mean, if you want to, and from here on, which you produce in your naval sector, really up to you. I usually just produce everything except the submarines because of all the submarines you're producing are garbage anyway. They'll die right away. So yeah, just pop them onto Kantai if you want. I'm not really going to care about my navy because I'm just literally trying to do this as quickly as possible. Okay, so now all your divisions shall move to Germany. Your navy is going to go to Germany. And your air force is going to go to Germany. And you're not going to select the focus until you have 39 political power okay we have 40 political power we're going to justify on yugoslavia all right so now that they're all here we're going to set our navy to that you don't really need any of the submarines for this so i'm going to take them out put them on their own thing so we're not wasting fuel with them and then divide the fleet into two because we don't want both our navies going up at the same time so we'll just put that one over there and we'll put you as a leader. Also, don't mind the anime thing. I just, I, I always play with that. Oh, so both our navies are on this. Make sure that you press, you clicked one of them and then press H to stop. Okay, so now that our entire our, an entire air force is here, we're gonna take out all the carrier planes. We don't need them. These two are their fighter and, and cast bombers. We're going to put them up to 400 on reinforce. Move our attack bombers down here. And these should be fine for now. We cannot move our planes here because this territory is demilitarized and Germany should do that. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention we are on uh, we're on historical focuses. So 
Germany will always do this first. Just wait for them to do that and then we can move our planes right here and we can help uh, assist in the naval invasions that were planned down here. Oh yeah, I didn't do these in my practice runs. If you want to do them, it actually might be a good idea to do them because you get... Actually, yeah, do this one. Do this one because it gives you uh, four military factories and it gives you military factory construction speed. You know, support equipment has gotten its stuff. We'll put it up there. So it's getting all the aluminum. And then we'll put everything else on guns. Oh yeah, and for this naval invasion, it's like you're... Marine first and then select your regular infantry divisions and then put them on there That'll assign ten of them to that and It won't change the plan since the plan was already finished to begin with so you don't have to worry about it restarting or anything You're just choosing which divisions you want to send in that naval invasion the marine and those infantry equipment uh, infantry divisions All right now that our justification is finished we can declare war on them set stop our training and the visions that are on this yet yeah, they're all trained so they don't we don't have to worry about them losing org from this we're not having enough they'll call france in so that makes things easy all right so now we're going to set but once these guys have landed we want to set those those guys to uh the convoy escort okay so now that we're all here we'll set the have uh, the entire army Actually, yeah, just choose this one, because that'll make it easy. Alright, and so just set your entire army to, like, an aggressive assault. We want to grab as much territory as we can, including the air, air pro, uh, state there. Divide the army to two. So we can do air support for both, and we'll choose that. Once the entire army gets over... Now we can start dividing them up a bit. So we'll divide you to two. Take two of there, so that's six. Six. And just give them the best generals you got. Delete this regular front line, and we'll give them a field marshal front line. And they should go kill France pretty quickly. All right, so we've kind of bogged down here, not too far in. And if this happens to you, then you might want to switch up how your army is structured. So deleting this, changing this one to those, and changing this one to these, but switching these out, giving this guy that, and putting on some support artillery. So that it actually has some decent soft attack and reinforce, and, and you're not using too much equipment. So we should be, yep, yeah, well, it should be fully supplied. We should. You don't really have to worry about the supply lines, and yeah, France will attack you, but you can win that pretty easily. All right, now we can research the bicycle battalion since that focus is finished. There we go. It should be the war. Yep, okay, so France is dead. Speaking of 37, you'll just want to annex them all, really. Well, you don't need to... Okay, so here's the thing. You don't need to annex all of France, but you do need mainland France and Savoy. And if you want to be really safe, taking these states here. Because these states, honestly, they give... Uh, they go to France afterwards. Well, these, uh, these are cores of... Uh, yeah, see? It's, uh, it shows core of a free France. So you might want to grab these and whatever, whatever else may be a core of free France. But honestly, I usually just annex them all because this makes it easy. You can puppet stuff like this area and stuff like that if you want to. But I'm just going to annex it for these purposes. Alright, but now we're still at war with Yugoslavia. So we'll, get prepare, we'll prepare for that. But what we'll do now, seeing that we have... Yeah, so our garrisons just took a bunch of that, of our guns. So what we'll do now is we'll pretty much just set all our infantry equipment to that. We'll bust, put those down a bit. Because we don't need as much of those. And we'll put everything, all our mills into it, into our factories. And you'll want to switch this to... Okay, so British Raj is very high. 
And that's not good. Actually, what the what in the world? Why are they so high? They're going down on their own, though. Okay, so what we'll do is just put it on military governor, really. It should bring them all down really quickly and keep them down. But that does use a lot of guns. So putting every all your mills towards it is going to be good. So let's focus on putting our sieves up. Because we're not done with the achievement yet. But put all the sieves to the top so that you're building as quickly as possible. So you're repairing your sieves as quickly as possible. And you can, you can cut your trade with other areas like that. Because France has a lot of stuff. So just cut your trade. To rebuild everything. Stop your fleet. And stop your air force. So you can just gain fuel back up. Well, actually, just to gain fuel really quickly, we'll just put everything on, on that. So we'll get lots. Actually, just put just put ten sieves on on that for the with the U.S. So they get so you can still build stuff at the same time. You shouldn't be getting any more. Okay, so you. So there's some areas still that are giving us some resistance. But that shouldn't really last long because it's going to go down over time. And we'll want mills. Well, any any of the mills here that are need to be repaired. Everything else really doesn't matter. Yeah, so prioritize the sieves so you have more sieves to build with. And you'll get to a war economy later. So then grab the silent workhorse because that's just more political power. All right. Grab five of them. Put them on to here. We'll set them to, the, to there. To these states. You'll all go. Okay, so everyone. So put every, if you. Here's a little trick you can do for invading uh, Yugoslavia. Put your entire army there. You'll ask for army access for Italy. Bring your ar your reserve army and put them into. You'll bring your reserve army to Toulon and then put them to Zara. Yugoslavia does have some ships, so you need to put your fleet over there, just in case. You want to just set them to invade. Yugoslavia shouldn't. They shouldn't raid it. Because well, they don't have any ships, really. They have a few, but not enough, really, to be of any threat. And then, for this, we'll, right, shift, uh, we'll control right-click. So it selects the units. Select the other units, the 19 that aren't selected in the naval invasion. And put them over to Calabria. Okay, once your naval invasion is ready, just let it go. You can bring your planes. So, okay, so all your, yeah, here's all your planes. Unite them. So you don't know. Okay. Okay, so once your once your invasion's going, it's like your air force, so these two. Bring over here. Divide them into two, because only four hundred can go into there. Put the four hundred we want to send in. And wait for the invasion to land. Yugoslavia will not protect its entire coastline, which makes things very easy. Then set them to that. There you go. So our, so our army should just start invading, and our reserve, our little garrisons, will just hold the line for them so they don't get overrun or anything or encircled. All right, so there's an airport here. We've taken it. So we'll take the 400 we've set aside and bring them over. To give us some air support. And at this point, Yugoslavia is pretty much dead. You can just kill them. Okay, so while that's going on, we're going to set up a bicycle division. Because for some reason, unlike every other time you research, or I don't know why, doing it through the focus doesn't give you a, an actual division for some reason.
so we won't put, actually we won't put these on so that'll be our bicycle battalion template so the achievement you don't have to have 20 bicycle battalions while invading france you just have to have them when you can either occupy or control all of france well own slash control all of france so this means that you don't have to you don't have to be holding on to them in a war or have them beforehand you could literally just annex all of france and then build a 20 and it still counts all right so yugoslavia is dead we're just going to annex them because i mean i don't really care you could puppet them if you want. I'm just going to annex them. Looks nice. Alright, so now that we have our division here, we can actually stop our navy from doing that. Yeah, just, just come here and split. Because you can. Alright, so now we're going to switch them to the bicycle divisions. And once... Our garrisons use no support equipment at the moment because I don't have uh, military police on it. But once... Once this is completely full, because we have the guns already to support these divisions, as you can look here, the reinforcements, it just needs support equipment. So once the support equipment is completely filled out, then you should get the achievement, because it wants you to fully, them to be fully equipped. Okay, so seeing our support equipment is completely filled up, that should be the achievement. And we can now go on to kill the UK, maybe go after Italy, then finish off China, and then maybe go... Uh, you won't be able to get Canada in them from this from from your war with the UK because you'd have to invade them or fight them at some point. But uh, yeah, you could just go after the UK. Then maybe since uh, the Allies will be of the former colonies, you can then just go after them separately. Do not declare in Canada unless you want to go over the US, the US though. But you will have a bastion in North America over here, and you have one down here. But you'll have uh, the islands too afterwards. So yeah, that, this is technically that that's just that's the achievement really you, we can go after UK Once our war goal is finished if we want to it's only 37 almost to the end of 37. So Yeah, you could pretty much go and kill the rest of the world now if you want go maybe go after Germany or maybe the uh, Yeah, no, you know the Netherlands Belgium Luxembourg maybe reform the Roman Empire's Japan or something <laughs> But yeah, alright, so that's pretty much the achievement, if you're wanting to know how to do it, or, I don't know, just wanted an easy way to doing it. But yeah, so thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. This is how you get the Tour de France achievement, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Whenever I do another one of these, uh, you know, achievement tutorial videos, I guess.